Hey guys, welcome back, and today I have a uh, pretty special Clan War recap for you guys. So as you guys know, uh, I personally, I'll show you guys, you know, I do a couple of uh, Clan War recaps every, you know, every now and then. Basically, show capping some of the best Clan Wars that, that the clans that I'm in have had. But this Clan War recap will be a bit different. Yes, you can see the g the guys over at Grown to War, my clan here, actually lost, a, you know, one of our clan wars here. Now, I'm not, now actually, I take that back. I don't know why I said it like that. We, we've lost several clan wars. But you can see here, we lost against the VNC girls, and we lost badly. We lost 68 stars to 54 stars. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wait, what? You know, because as you guys know, we are a pretty solid war clan. We usually two star the top guys and three star the bottom guys. We're usually doing really, really well in clan wars. So how did these guys beat us so badly? Well, I'm just going to flat out say it. They modded us. Now, I don't like to call clans modding clans, you know, just because, oh, they did good on us. You could see our top bases were, a couple of them were three star. I'm not sure why the others weren't, but you could see they definitely got a ton and ton of three stars on our base on our bases here. And, you know, that doesn't really prove a modding clan, but I'm going to show you guys just why they were. So, first things first. Their quote-unquote fake scout attacks. So, you can see here, they had their bottom four players. Each one of their top, each one of those eight attacks were these 0% attacks where they get absolutely no information on the base. So, I'm actually going to show you guys a couple of those here. Um... You know, they'll actually find the one, let me find it here. So this is the one against our number one player. So 6 seconds, 11 goblins, and 6 archers. He's going to drop one goblin, and then just end the raid. Now, that didn't get any information on the base, right? But, what that did is that, that kind of activated the mods there, and, you know... And, you know, really, that's that's really what modding is. That's If you guys don't know how modding works, is they'll do those fake scout attacks. I'll actually show you guys the one against my base here. Um, you know, they just get absolutely no information on the base. Like you, you could see here, this attack, 7 seconds long. Now, usually, they are like 4 minutes. I'm not sure why these guys are. He jumps one hog rider, and then just ends the battle. Now, that, that got absolutely no information on the base. But then, if you look at uh, actually LPT's attack here, Minutes later, she is three starred. Now, I'll actually show you guys this replay in uh, two times. Fully maxed out Town Hall 11 here, gonna get three starred. Now, normally I would show it. Now, if this was a real attack, I would seriously have to give them props, you know. Mod, you know, but when they mod, it's. it's uh, you can see here, literally, the Arch Queen is gonna go exactly where LV Lin here wanted to it's gonna go down towards this you know it's not gonna end up getting stuck on a wall or anything because ellie knows that that's just not gonna happen so you can see here really just it's just yeah and you know yeah lpt is gonna get the restart here no point in really watching he, he just is gonna get, it's gonna get destroyed you can see then the uh, eh, the arch queen is gonna get down the inferno tower the eagle artillery just some insane queen walk right there. And then just gonna kill this base. A whole bunch of rage spells and haste spells for those balloons. Just actually overkilling a fully maxed out Town Hall 11 base. Now even legitimately, if you're 3 stun fully maxed out Town Hall 11s, you're probably barely gonna get it. But this was just... <sighs> it really does make me sad when stuff like this happens. But I know what you guys are thinking. Alright, so they got 3 star. They had a couple fake scout attacks. That doesn't fully prove well it kind of does but here's the third thing if you look in their description the the clan had the decency to write that they are a modding clan yes if you can see their description says group fb clan i guess that's just their facebook clan or whatever but look on that second or fourth line it says tyun hall 9 to 10 war tot ko mod now, I have no idea what that means. I probably just pronounced it awfully. But we actually threw that into Google Translator. I'll show you guys the pictures on my on the screen right now. Yes, that means a Town Hall 9 to 10 modding clan. Or, no, Town Hall 9 to 10 war clan good with mods. Yes, Totko mod literally translates to good with mods. So these guys not just modded, but had the decency 
to write it in their clan description that they modded us and even to do it in Vietnamese to think that you know maybe we wouldn't see that so I don't know how Clash of Clans really responds to stuff like this but first I will show you guys a couple of my attacks for the second part of this video so because we did have a couple of really nice attacks sadly we just didn't even get close to these guys I mean it just it really sucks when going up against modding clans and uh, Actually, in the second part of the video, I'm going to show you guys, basic share my preference really, or my basically stands on modding clans, because I know a lot of YouTubers have done it already, so I'll definitely do that. So this is what I think about modding clans. I think they're just cheater, cheaters, okay? Now, if you seriously have to cheat in a mobile video game, I just find that just so, so dumb. You know, clans out there work so, so hard. I know players that can definitely... 3 star fully max out tunnel 11 bases they'll put hours of planning they'll do this and that they'll examine the base they'll literally stare at the base for hours at a time planning out perfect 3 star attacks and that's seriously just impressive to me when these modding clans just show up and go and then just mod the base and boom 3 stars I I just really really I just am not for it at all I seriously think Supercell needs to do something about it but the problem is, they really can't. Um, you know what, I, I, you know, I'm not really good at coding or anything like that. But from what I've heard, you know, Supercell seriously cannot do anything about it. Due to the way the mods work and the way people have downloaded it, there is literally no way that Supercell can really not, you know, delete mods from the game. But there must be something that they can do, some counterbalance or something like that. And you know, they gotta do stuff to, to clans like this. You can see this clan literally in their description is saying good with mods. And this clan is already level 6. They have uh, like 90 or 100 war wins. And these guys just haven't been caught yet. Like how is that, you know, that's literally showing that Supercell just really isn't worrying about mods right now. I'm hoping in the next update we're, for war they will definitely do something about it. Because it's seriously just ridiculous, you know, clans... I actually heard about one of my friend's clans, uh, he was telling me his clan went 51 and 0. It was an insane, insane thing. And then they ended up facing off against a modding clan. And the clan, you know, they, they did all those fake scout attacks as well. Four minutes of just dropping one troop and then just, just staring at the screen. Getting absolutely nothing and then the base is just mysteriously 3 star like 5 minutes later. And, you know, they ended up losing that clan war by one star. Now, and there, I mean, it's just seriously, 51 war streak ended by a modding clan. You know, they have to do something about this modding. You know, it's just seriously, seriously ridiculous that to this day, ever since really the beginning of Clash of Clans, there's been cheating and modding. Supercell needs to take a stand to this. If you guys agree, drop a like button down below. If you guys want to, if you guys don't want to see any more modding and class clans, make sure you guys click that like button. Personally, I just think it's completely ridiculous that a clan would literally mod in a mobile video game. I just, but uh, yeah, you can see here from my attacks. Actually, I ended up 49%ing their number three player. Pretty uh, insane anti three star base here. Did some really really weird attack against. It. I ended up failing. And then my second attack, there was like 10 minutes left in war, something like that. Yeah, 46 minutes left. I just attacked their number 8, cooked like some random army, just completely failed in the attack. But, you know, yeah. Sadly, we lost to a modding clan, and uh, that is that. So, for today, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember, if you guys want to end modding, like this video, share it with your friends. Hopefully, we can get Supercell to maybe ban this clan or do something to watch this video. So definitely, definitely make sure you guys leave a like and I will see you guys tomorrow. So peace out and clash on.